Hunters often wonder how we test harvested animals for chronic wasting disease. We'll show you a sample's journey through the testing process from start to finish. The first step is to collect and submit a sample. We collect CWD samples at check stations, in the field, at our regional offices, or receive samples from hunters. The sample is collected from the head. Leave about two inches of neck attached to ensure that we can collect the lymph nodes for testing. Testable tissues include lymph node, tonsil, and obex. All samples are sent to the Wyoming Game and Fish Department's Wildlife Health Lab in Laramie with a completed CWD sample tag that includes your personal info and info about the harvested animal. At the lab, samples are unpacked, the sample ID is checked, and the sample tag and sample cup are given a lab ID. Then, the sample tag goes to data entry and the tissue goes to testing. We subsample the tissue, extracting from three separate areas of the submitted tissue. Next, we weigh the sample, chop it up, and put it in a grinding tube. The sample in the grinding tube is homogenized to make a lymph node smoothie. To test the sample for CWD, we use ELISA or the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. A diluent is mixed with the sample to thin it, and then we add a mixture to a ligand-coated antigen capture plate to capture the mutated CWD prion. We add negative and positive controls to every plate. The sample incubates for 60 minutes, and if the mutated CWD prion is present, it binds to the ligand on the plate. Next, we wash the plate to remove any material not bound to it. Then we add a conditioning buffer to the plate. After sitting for 10 minutes, the conditioning buffer changes conformation of the prion on the ligand. The plate is washed again to remove the conditioning buffer. We then add enzyme conjugated antibody. After 60 minutes, the antibody with the conjugated enzyme binds to the mutated CWD prion. The plate is washed a third time to remove any conjugate that did not attach. Next, we add a color-changing substrate to the plate. In 15 minutes, the substrate reacts with the attached enzyme to produce a color change. Hydrochloric acid is added to the plate to stop the reaction. Positive wells, in blue, turn yellow so absorbance can be read with a plate reader. The absorbance is red, and we perform calculations to determine negative and positive status. Samples initially resulting positive are recut and retested to confirm the result. Samples initially testing negative are released. Finally, sample tag info and result data is entered into the Wyoming Game and Fish Chronic Wasting Disease web app. Go online to the Wyoming Game and Fish Department website to get your results. For more info on CWD, to check your results, and for info on collecting your own sample, please click the link on your screen.